Yo, it's your boy AP. Real quick, before this video starts, I want to warn you that I get a little bit passionate in this video. I did it all in one take, and I was just going off the top of the dome. So, I don't want you guys to watch half of this video, cut it off, and then form your opinion. I want you to watch this video all the way through, and then make your opinion, and then comment, okay? Because if you make it through half of this video, you might be mad, you might not. I just wanna have that disclaimer out there because I, like I said, I reiterate in this video, I want this video to be a talking point on the problems that MCOC has right now and, and, and the problems that we have as a community. So, like I said, it's your boy AP, it's all love. Enjoy the video, let's go. What's up, Wave Gang? It's your boy, AP Waves. Back with another video, man. And I'm gonna be honest with you, my MCOC uh, game is just up for background noise right now because we're not going to be doing anything really with it. We're just going to talk in this video, man. Um, so, I want this video to be in the comment section, right? And I don't want to... I'm not here to cause any controversy. I'm just here to give a different perspective, okay? And the perspective that I'm trying to give is how this community looks from an outsider's perspective, okay? Now, let me say this. Do I think that this game is it has bugs in it and there's there's issues with the game? 100% yes, forever and forever yes, right? Now, this this video is just come comes about because I've just felt like I've hit my personal breaking point with the with the and I don't know I don't want to call it a consensus I, I don't know if it's a, a vocal minority situation going on but I just need to speak about some things about how through this step and let me say I'm not in a content creator program I'm not a Kabam employee it is just little old me and this is an opinion that I've formulated over years and years of playing this game so to start out, this this account ha was made January 14th, 2015. So for those of you who don't know, that is a month after the game's official release. I made this account a month after the release, okay? I played this game for two years. I played this game until Blade came out. Save for Blade was a thing. I saved for Blade. I didn't get Blade. I wasn't the highest tier account. I ha I freaked out and I sold all my four star every champion besides maybe eight. This is way back when you could sell champions, and I sold all my four stars off to try to get a couple more shots at Blade. Didn't get them. You know what I did? I quit the game. Guess what? Guess what else I did after that? I came back to the game. This time when I come back, I make a YouTube account because I want a different perspective for people to see about this game. I felt like it, all it was on YouTube at the time was a bunch of super elite pro players giving the super elite pro player view on this game. So I was like, let me create a, this game because I'm an average player. Hi, Miles. Uh, uh, and let me, give, let me give my perspective. You guys are gonna have to excuse Miles in the background. He's playing in the gym while I'm making this video. Um, but then I, you guys see from there you've seen everything I've played the game for two or three years at a time then I quit for a couple months and I come back and I quit for, and, and and at this current time in the game I am back for about a month okay and I see the same toxic complaining going on so and and I have been in some live streams. Shout out Lefty Knox. I was in his live stream and I said, "Hey, you know you guys are going to complain regardless, right?" And when I say you guys, I mean us. Because I look at us as a community as a whole. And then you're like, "Well, no, AP, the, this is the pushback I'm getting. No, AP, the game's broken. You don't understand. You've been gone." Like, "Okay, first of all, I know I've been gone, but I know the problems that happen with this game. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see the input issues and whatnot." Now, Fair enough. I will. I will. I will give that. But my thing about it is, is I've been, I've been in this game 
for a very long time. Mind you, almost 10 years, okay? So I've seen 12.1, okay? That was the biggest reason to ever complain. I will never say that it wasn't, okay? But now, let's take it back for those of you who don't know who think that I'm crazy for saying that we're going to complain regardless. Act 4 was too hard, right? Act 4 was too hard. So then people grind through Act 4, get it done. Guess what? Years later, the, the new wave of players are like, man, Act 4 is really hard. So Kabam hears this for the second, third, fourth time, however many wave of players come in. And they're like, oh, wow. Act 4 may be too hard. Let's shorten it up a little bit make it a little easier for new players. Make it even more inviting for new players. What do the original players do who played this game and had already, already beat Act 4? What do they do? Mind you, they could be on Act 6 at this point. Act 4 has nothing to do with them. They've been done. What do they do? Oh, we should get compensated. We could get compensated. You made Act 4 easier. Whole time, all Kabam is trying to do is make it easier for new players to have a higher player base in this game. But the old players who already beat it complained about them making it easier. Fast forward. Act 6. Extremely hard. When it drops... Oh my goodness, Act 4, Act 6 is so hard. The champion boss is ridiculously way too hard. It shouldn't be this hard. Why are we doing this? Okay, we complain forever. So many people get roadblocked at the champion boss. What happens? Kabam makes the, makes the fight easier for the new players or the people that are roadblocked. What happens? We all complain. This is not me making it up saying that this is what happened. All this is real facts. Go. There is video proof. There's... Years of MCOC YouTube videos for you if you don't want if you don't believe me I'm not gonna do the homework for you. I already know. I don't got to prove myself, right? I lived through it. I seen it Complain. Oh, how come we don't get no compensation? We beat it earlier. We should get some Bro, who cares? You already beat it You already beat it use that as a badge of honor. You beat it already. You don't need compensation for every minuscule minute problem that happened. I was there. Mom, get away from the computer, buddy. You could be out here, but don't be around the computer. You know that. Rio, go. Excuse me. I got a, a pup. A puppy and a, and a little boy trying to interrupt the video. But we're going to keep it pushing. You can... So those, those situations are... Yeah, I know. Play with it over there for me, please. You can argue with me, but there's no argument. I was here... I lived through it. I seen it. Okay. Now, let's go to another situation. So, mind you, these are all things that happened that had nothing to do with bugs. They had nothing to do with game inputs. This was all real facts. Kabam changed things that got complained about. Once they fixed the things that got complained about, the thing that they fixed got complained about. This is, this is twice. This is two separate occasions. Act 4 getting nerfed. Act 6 getting nerfed. I was there to see how much Act 4 and Act 6 got complained about how hard they were. I was there when the champion boss was roadblocking everybody and we wanted it to be fixed. And then once it got fixed, it was still something wrong with it. I was here, okay? So one thing that's not going to happen is y'all not about to gaslight me because I've been gone for six months and I don't know what's going on. Because I wasn't gone then and I was living in, 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 in the time. And I was living in that, that era, okay? So I seen it. Now, let's keep going. And we're going to go reference all the way to roughly about, I want to say it was 2021, when uh, when all the big whales of this game and everybody was completing all the content. And and Kabam couldn't come out with content fast enough, right? They, they would come out with the bitch. Y'all would beat it in a week. they come out with the new Act 6 point, Act 7.1, Act 7.2, all that you guys would beat in a week. The complaint was, hey... There's not enough game modes in here. You can only pump out so much stuff and we're going to beat it instantly and be done and be bored. We got to make new accounts and da, da 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 You guys aren't coming up with stuff fast enough. So what does Kabam do? They develop Battlegrounds. Whole new game mode. Never ending. Always new champions coming out. Guess what y'all do? Guess what we do? Complain about BGs. Oh, BGs is this. The matchmaking this. And da 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 And I'm not... I'm not excusing myself from it. I'm right here through the whole time doing complaining. But somebody has to call it out, y'all. If I was at Kabam and I worked for Kabam, which disclaimer, I don't, I would be the Tyrese meme. How many of y'all seen the Tyrese meme 
where he was him and his him and his wife were breaking up and he was claiming she took everything from him he was like what more do you want from me that's how i would feel if i was working at kabam we tell them what we want then they give us what we want and then we complain about what they gave us i've seen it throughout the years so when i say yeah yo we're just going we're going to complain regardless so either we can be content with complaining and playing the same game or we can just realize hey this is what we're going to do now i'm open i'm open for a real back and forth conversation with this here don't get me wrong i'm not saying i'm automatically all the way right but i have to go back and and i'm telling you right now this is just off the top of the dome i didn't even go back and research i just thought about the times that i spent playing this game in every single different new wave of complaints that there's been about this game so my rebuttal is okay yes the bugs are in the game the inputs are in the game i get that but there has been times in this game when we are essentially complaining about nothing it is something to complain about it is a game that we love and it takes up so much time and misery loves company so once the ball gets rolling on the complaint everybody's gonna jump in on it and i've seen it multiple times act four act six the champion boss fight two not enough stuff the variants come out oh we beat a variant we need another one we beat a variant we beat another one like bro what more do you want from me? Like, y'all gotta just sit back and think about it. Like, I've played other games, and you know what they do in those other games? The same thing. NBA 2K, NBA 2K franchise. I play it every year. 2K, 2K16, 2K17, 2K18, 2K19, 20. Guess what happens when their 2K comes out where I really just can't do deal with it? I don't play it. And... And an argument that I was seeing in the chat was like, AP, a lot of people have spent a lot of money in this game. They can't just walk away from it. Have y'all not seen my well-out openings that I've done over the year? Y'all don't, y'all don't see the half of the money I spend on this game. I don't want to say how much money I've actually spent, spent on this game because my fiance might watch it and I might get in trouble. Actually, she doesn't watch my videos. I spent over $15,000 on this game. I spent enough money on this game to buy a brand new car, take that cash, put it on the lot, and drive off. So it's you can't talk to me about how much money I spent on this game. I've quit this game. And you know what I've done? I've came back to this game. Why? Because all games suck. All games have bugs. We all hate every game's developers. And it's about which game you want to commit yourself to. Because guess what? There's not another, another Marvel game out there that's going to take me away from NCOC because I tried to find it. I played Future Fight. I played Dragon Ball Z Legends. I have played Jedi Star Wars games. Galaxy of Heroes. I played them all. And you know what they are? They're all worse than Marvel Contest of Champions. So, with that being said, I'm not the one to talk to about, well, if you don't like it, quit AP. Because I've done it and I've came back because the grass ain't greener on the other side. If this game didn't have bugs and they fixed the inputs today, the first thing y'all would do is say, well, we got used to the old input, so now that it's fixed, it sucks again. And I put any amount of money y'all want to let y'all want to bet that that would be the case, okay? Gamers just want to have things to complain about. So guess what? MCOC's not going nowhere because a lot of you people that are making the complaints now were the same people making the complaints three years ago when Seton said that the game was broken and they kabam had to roll out a new roadmap and then we get the roadmap and we get BGs from it and now we all hate BGs. What more do you want? What I want is for everybody to who, who's listened to this video all the way to the end, don't don't hate me. Don't Miles come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Ugh. Say hi, Miles. Hi. Tell everybody, say, be nice to my daddy. Be nice to daddy. <laughs> Listen, what I don't want is this video, and anybody that watch this video, I don't want to turn it into pro-kabam, anti-kabam. I just want to use my experiences that I've had in this game to open your guys' eyes to see that it's always going to be something. So we either look at the game for what it's worth and enjoy the game while it's here because eventually it's going to be gone. Just like, I don't know, your favorite 
your, your favorite athlete. Enjoy him or enjoy that athlete while they're still playing because one day they're not going to play no more. Enjoy the time that we all have in this game as a com- in a community that we have all these people because eventually don't. it's going to be gone and we won't have the same camaraderie that we have amongst players. It doesn't all have to be negative, bro. There's still reasons to play this game or, or else none of you would be playing it. Tell them, Miles. You're not even really playing it. <laughs> That's going to be it for me, man. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Hopefully this is a, a good talking point video because that's my goal. My goal is to not alienate anybody and I hope you guys listen to this video long enough for you to get that. Now, with that being said, it's going to be your boy AP Waves out. Peace. Say peace, Miles. Peace, Miles. <laughs> no, say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs>